It started as a Turkish military operation. It ended with governments in two capitals making urgent phone calls. The Turkish military was conducting airstrikes in Hasaka in Syria, targeting Kurdish fighters of the YPG group. The operation was ordered after the Turkish Interior Ministry was targeted by a suicide bomber on Sunday, but American troops took emergency cover as an armed Turkish drone came within one kilometre of their positions. When calls between the capitals failed to halt the operation and the drone moved to just 500 metres away, a US jet shot it down. The first time a NATO member has attacked one of its allies. U.S. commanders assessed that the UAV, which was now less than a half a kilometer from U.S. forces, to be a potential threat, and U.S. F-16 fighters subsequently shot down the UAV in self-defense uh, at approximately 11.40 local time. It's important to point out that no U.S. forces were injured during the incident. We have no indication that, uh, that, the, uh, that Turkey was intentionally targeting U.S. forces. U.S. Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin and his new military chief, General C.Q. Brown, called their counterparts in Ankara. It reported they emphasized Turkey as an ally, but also the need to avoid similar incidents. The U.S. considers the YPG as a vital ally in the fight against ISIL in Syria, but Turkey has branded YPG as a terrorist organization and a threat to the state. The U.S. still continues to work with the YPG that is very hostile and a direct threat to Turkey. So in the statement, the U.S. underlined that they respect and understand Turkey's security concerns and still continue to work with the YPG. The U.S. has about 900 troops in Syria protecting oil fields and fighting ISIL. There have been recent tensions between Washington and Ankara, not least Turkish opposition to Sweden joining NATO, which was finally resolved. Turkey officials say it carried out Thursday's operation as part of its right to self-defence and has warned other countries to stay away from areas controlled by groups. It will continue to target. Alan Fisher, Al Jazeera, Washington. Make sure to subscribe to our channel to get the latest news from Al Jazeera.